Hey, this is Chip Price. I just wanted to give some instructions on how to check the quality of record hints. Uh, Family Search puts record hints into different bins. There's five star, four star, three star. And for one of our academic papers, we need to know what, what fraction of the five star hints are usually correct, what fraction of the four star hints are usually correct, and what fraction of the three star hints are usually correct. So we've taken a random sample of record hints from the 1910 census. Uh, we have about 500 from each of these bins, and we're going to be um, nearly checking them ourselves and keeping track of how often they're, they're correct. Uh, so let me show you how to do this. You'll have the link to the sheet, but here, um, down, you can go to the next open spot and then aim in to check some hints out. And it, the basic task is you're going to look at the information in the hint and decide if it's a match or not. And if it's a match, then you'll attach the source uh, and just put a one in the Google Sheet. So you can see this one's a pretty easy match because we have a birth city that's matching up exactly where they were living just shortly after. All the names are lining up really well. Um, and so uh, this is a, a, a great source. And the nice thing about it is that it adds uh, some birth info for the parents. So notice then uh, that is all done. And so we can just put a one here and close this. Now, what I like to do is I like to open up several at once. The trick is you just have to remember that this first one here will correspond to the top one that you opened. And this one here will correspond to the bottom. Now, many of these will be correct, but you'll just, if any of these are incorrect, you'll just need to make sure to put in the corresponding uh, zero if it's incorrect or 0 0.5 if you're not sure. And then the other thing I like to do is I like to use uh, Goldie May while I'm doing this. I'll just kind of have Goldie May. I, uh, I like to start from the right to the left, but that's really just a personal preference. So you can see here this one, you can almost tell even without looking at the more um, details, but here we have a county match. All the names are lining up really well. This is a really good match. And so then Goldie May will do the clicking for me. And um, as it's clicking, I can obviously then uh, look and see. Now notice here, it didn't have, it didn't bring the birth state over because there was already some birth info or birth, a birth date. Uh, we have some code that we'll go back and add that in later, though you're welcome to do it as well. Um, here, I'm gonna focus in on the person. Now this is, a, this is definitely a harder one. So right here, just from what I can see in the record, I can't really make the call. And uh, so what we would do in this case is you're welcome to just put a 0 0.5 if you want. So just remember to put a 0 0.5 right there. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do for this video. But uh, in practice, what we're gonna do is go to the person's page and see if we can find other sources that might help us confirm the information that we see here. We can also go onto Ancestry and uh, notice here that we can find a record for uh, Tina. And so here we can see this uh, marriage record. And notice that uh, this is gonna to start to give us possible matches. But what I find the most helpful is to click down here under make a connection. And sometimes I'll find a public member tree for her and that can help a lot. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it as a 0 0.5. Notice this one again, looks pretty easy. If we open these up, you can see an exact match on county. All the names are lining up really well. So that's uh, working great. And again, this is where Goldie May can help us uh, do the final. But that's that's pretty much it. Um, let me just show you what would happen when you're uh, all done with these set. So what I like to do, the reason I like to open up six at once or five or four, whatever, is that I can pull this down and that allows me to close all these windows at once. And then I put in my ones for those that were correct. Uh, and just so you know that the, the hint one, those are five star hints. And if you come down here, you can see category two, those are the four star hints. And then category three are the three star hints. And with the three star hints, I tend to do just do one at a time. They're, they're quite a bit harder to determine if it's match. And for these ones, um, I do tend to have to almost always go in and look at other records and uh, try to confirm that it's, that, that it's a match. You can see here, and a lot of these are uh, in New York City. Um, not as helpful then to, in terms of matching on um, residents or other information like that. So in this case, you know, 
I don't think this one, this source will actually add any additional information. You can see it's basically confirmation of stuff we already knew. I guess we did uh, get a slightly more specific birthplace. So we can put that in there. In this case, I'd most likely rely on a ancestry to maybe help me. Oops, you know what? Uh, show you then again the steps for ancestry. Once we come over here, there's actually two things we can do at this point. We have potential records that will match directly. And uh, the other thing we can do is if we click here, we can click family trees. Notice this will allow us to see if maybe he's showing up on someone's uh, family tree. You can see here that this uh, first one is actually a uh, potential match. Uh, you can see the birth date is pretty close. Uh, the dad has the same name, mom has the same name. So it's possible this is our person. Um, and if this is our person, then it's very likely that that 1910, really then it'll just come down to whether we think that's the right person. The other thing, notice that uh, this person's in five trees. If I click this, I can see those other trees and you can see that someone has them as the 21st, someone is in the 19th. So my guess is this one's probably a match though I have to do just a little bit more research on it. Uh, and so again, just in terms of the sheet, you put a one if it's a match, you put a 0 0.5 if you're not sure, and you put a zero if, if it's it's not a match. Let me just show you an example of one that was not a match. Uh, you can see here, uh, like it just wasn't, uh, uh, you can see like uh, there was a few names that were matching up, but most were not matching up. Uh, even the name that matched off, the birth year was off by five years, which can happen, but they, I just didn't feel like taking the whole family as a whole, I didn't feel this one was a match, so I gave that one a zero. So uh, thanks for helping with this project. Uh, this will be a really great way for us to validate the fraction of hints in each category that are correct. And this will provide really helpful information to volunteers as they work on these hints. So they can get a sense of like how many of the hints should they be skipping uh, based on the kind of overability of the quality. So thanks.